many people tend to assume that doing manual trading is really hard because emotion kicks in when they are doing manual trading so that is why many people said they are moving to algo trading but algo trading removes emotions is a complete myth algo trading doesn't remove any emotions at all as long as your money is involved definitely emotions will be there but despite that whether you are trading manually or whether you are trading and or through algos what how do you know control your emotions so that is what we are going to talk about in this whole video we humans always regret about the past or keep worrying about the future we hardly live in the present but when it comes to trading we live too much in the present like for an example when you place a trade you tend to think too much about that particular trade outcome how this trade is going to be whether this trade will end up in profits or whether will this trade end up in loss or will this trade really able to help me to recover all my losses which happened in the past will i be able to recover all the losses in this just one trade so we give too much importance to the present trade the trade which is currently running in front of your system in front of your eyes because we tend to think that we are totally dependent on this one trade but we know like when you run a back test or when you you know create a trading strategy it is based on n number of trades like over the last 5 years 7 years or 10 years based on 1000 trades or based on 1500 trades you see the overall back test results but we ignore all that and we tend to assume too much or we tend to give too much importance to the current trade like if there are 6 hours in a trade if you are doing intraday trading you keep worrying about this one trade which you have taken today and this is emotionally draining and it is really hard to control your emotion when you are giving too much importance to the current trade so you always focus on the law of large numbers like eventually whether this trade outcome is profit or loss it doesn't matter and eventually as long as you follow the system obviously it is going to end up in profits on the long run but giving too much emphasis on the current trading system will emotionally drain you and it is really hard to control your emotions when you give too much importance to the current trade so just consider that as a no just just another trade out of all the 100 or 1000 trades it's just one more trade that you have taken so don't give too much importance to the current trade don't keep staring at it consider you are going for a walk in the park and say someone knows very old comes near you and he tells you exactly like this is what going to happen in your life tomorrow at 10 o'clock with precise even details like this is what going to happen this is where you are going to be at and this is the event that is going to occur in your life tomorrow at 10 a.m. If someone says that to you when you are going for a walk, suddenly what? No, 99% tend to ignore that. They know, okay, this is no way it's possible. No way anybody could tell me what is going to happen in my life tomorrow. So obviously there is no way to predict it. So we tend to ignore that. But when it comes to trading, when it comes to market, when someone says tomorrow at this time so and so market is going to go up or going to go down or going to hit this specific level, we give too much importance to that because we tend to believe that there is someone out there who could predict what is going to happen in the market but that is nowhere possible there is no way no one could predict what is going to happen tomorrow or day after tomorrow or next week or next year so market keeps changing and there is no way that any could anyone could predict what is going to happen so in that case why do we worry too much about the trading outcome so you can control only what you can control overall the risk is what something that you can control but the trading outcome is something which you cannot control so when you focus on the things which you cannot control obviously this puts you in enormous pressure for example when i started trading in 2008 i used to trade with these put options overnight put options so i tend to buy these overnight put options and i don't even sleep at night i tend to i you know i open and check what is happening with the us markets and then you know, by morning again go and check what is happening with the Nikkei Japan index and then Shanghai index and then check what is happening with the SGX Nifty and then eventually our market opens. So the moment I take this put option trade that's all I just have to check what is my risk in it and then have to take a trade. But the outcome of it is nowhere in my hands but despite that we tend to check what is happening in the US markets, what is happening in Asian markets, how the SGX Nifty is going to trade and then once our market opens whether it is going to go up or go down only after our market opens we will know so we know that the outcome is not in our hand but still we tend to give too much importance or emphasis on all these other factors so don't think too much about what is going to happen tomorrow with your trade no and back then i was worried too much because what is going to happen tomorrow with my put option is not because of the analysis that it might go wrong or what would happen to the market it's mainly because more than analysis it is mainly because i did not know how much is too much i did not know what is position sizing at all so i was trading with the amount which i cannot afford to lose so when you're trading too much 
you have all this panic like what might happen tomorrow what is going to happen so all this worrisome will come only when you are trading with too much capital which you cannot afford to lose so instead of trading multiple lots if you just reduce your overall lot size to a certain extent which you can afford to lose then you will not worry about at all you will not worry about what is going to happen in us or what is going to happen in china or you will not be worried about what is the overall geopolitical events anything about it you will just take a trade and next day when the market opens you will continue with the trade you will worry too much only when you are trading with too much capital which you cannot afford to lose so always know the right position sizing is something which lets you sleep peacefully overnight so that is the right position sizing so you ask yourself what is the correct number of lots which i can trade so that i can sleep peacefully without worrying too much about what is going to happen tomorrow so that is the right position sizing so once you follow that and then place your overnight trades then that will not give you any panic attacks you will not be worried about what is happening in the global markets and next comes the ego part right or wrong success or failure you know, a grade or f grade so all these things are there in our mind since childhood so when you are getting a a grade in the school you tend to think you are the smartest person among all other students and if you tend to get f grade then like f or fail then you tend to think that you are a loser compared to all others so all these thought process are there since in our no in our mindset for a very very long time but if you continue to trade with the same mindset then it would be really really hard for you to become a successful trader because trading is the only profession where you can be wrong for n number of times but still you can make money out of it so you need to keep in mind that a winning trade doesn't mean that you are a smartest trader similarly a losing trade doesn't mean that you are a dumb trader among all others so don't link your trading outcome with respect to your overall capability it doesn't matter whether winning trade or losing trade it has nothing to do with your own capability or own talent so trading outcome is just a part and parcel of any trading systems so a winning trade or a losing trade don't take it personally so in general in in life in general we don't want to be wrong since our childhood days we know that when we are wrong we are getting punished be in school or be it at home so we know that being wrong is something that it is not acceptable by the overall society so we always want to be right but when we trade with this kind of mindset definitely it would be really difficult to you know be in the trading profession for a prolonged period of time so with respect to trading only when we are ready to take a loss we will be able to make profits if you are not even able to accept the losses there is no way we can make profits from trading and the most important part is watching your mtm screen like you place the orders you follow your trading systems everything is there the stop loss is there target is there everything is there but in spite of placing all the trades why do we still monitor the mtms does monitoring your overall mtm is going to help you in increasing the profits or is it any way going to you know turn your losing trades into a profitable trade or is there any way or is there anything that is going to really help you by watching your mtm no way at all so watching your mtm you tend to believe like since market is not at all in our control watching our mtm is totally waste of time in fact it is going to do more harm for you when you keep watching your mtm so the moment you monitor all this you know mtm fluctuations your mind will convince you to book the profits early or it will you no know, convince you to override your own trading rules so the major reason most of the people are not able to stick to their own trading rules is because they are watching their mtm continuously from morning to evening so this will not be able to make you a disciplined trader so watching mtm is the number one killer to become a disciplined trader so there are people who watch their order books just to ensure everything is going fine be it you know when when they are doing an algo trading or through any systemized trading they tend to watch their order books which is relatively fine but that can also be automated where if anything goes wrong you can get a notification and then accordingly you take your you know overall trades or accordingly you do what needs to be done at that point of time but watching your mtm will definitely will not help you to become a successful trader or a disciplined trader so it's better to stay away from watching your overall mtm another biggest problem is recency bias consider your trading and option selling system a delta neutral market neutral trading strategy and option selling system on last expiry and you no know, you see that the market has been very calm and you are making very good profits and you made almost 1 or 1 and a half percent of profits or even 2 percent of profits by 230 and you are very happy because even though the market was moving zigzag your delta neutral strategy made really good profits but after 230 suddenly the market was moving in one sided direction and then you no know, all your profits wiped out and it ended up in loss so not only you lost your 2% profits which you saw few minutes before in addition to that you ended up higher losses also because market suddenly reversed and because of this sudden gamma move or one sided directional move in, you know, in the market you lost money 
so the complete from this expiry to next expiry you keep thinking about what has happened with respect to that trade so your mind keeps thinking okay should i if i have exited much earlier probably i would have been able to avoid this loss not only i would have avoided the loss i would have even locked the profit so your mind will give too much importance to what has happened recently so the moment you take this if you follow the same trading system and the same trades and all the logics are same so the next expiry when you start taking the same trade your mind the subconscious mind will automatically remind you about the previous incident so it by by the time 230 it reaches it your mind will you know your subconscious mind will kick in and it will tell you what has happened in the past what has happened in the last expiry so you will you will tend to think okay even though i'm currently making profits probably you know, what has happened in the last expiry might happen now so let me close the profits let me override my own trading rules let me override the trading system and close the profits so that i don't want to lose more so you are happy even with 0.5 percent of overall profits by 230 so you're exiting it because your mind wants to avoid that pain which you have gone through last week so human minds are very very you know uh, give too much importance to the pain process they don't want to handle this pain so your subconscious mind wants to save you from that pain and then you take your own no you override your own rules and then you come off to the trade by 230 only to realize that if you have held on to the trade that might have ended up in almost two percent of profits from 0.5 percent but you exited early because of the previous incident because of the previous expiry so don't give too much importance to the trading outcome or whatever the trades it might be the previous trades if you have taken a trade it has ended up in loss or profit just you are done with that previous trade so there is no implications or there is no impact a specific outcome or trading outcome will have based on one trade to other so just because the last trade has ended up in loss not necessary that the current trade might also face a similar conditions so each trading outcome are completely random in nature we have to keep that in mind so do not give too much importance to the recency bias what has happened recently and based on that do not tweak or change your rules so each trading outcome is completely random in nature we have to keep that in mind trading is all about handling the pain so that is what now people say trading is simple but it is not easy it is not for everyone because not everyone could handle this pain so why do some traders let their losing positions run but they are very very quick in order to close out their overall you know, profitable trades but they let their you no know, losing trades run for quite a long time because they do not want to have that pain so the moment they see this unrealized loss into a realized loss they know this is going to like it has been you know it is true in fact so the moment they see the unrealized loss and they book it it becomes a realized loss and once again the money gets detected from their account the pain becomes real but if they leave this unrealized loss as it is they tend to think they tend to hope the market might reverse so they might not be able to go through that pain they might not even need to go through that pain so they will be in a hope to having the market reversal that market might reverse one day so that is why they are holding this you know, losing positions for a quite a long time because they wanted to avoid this pain of losing so that is why they are reluctant to close the losing profits at a very early stage if they have closed it at a very early stage the pain would have been there but the pain would have been much small but because they were letting their no losing positions run for a longer period of time their small pain becomes a big pain and even many beginners wanted to lock the profits whether it is a small profits or a minor profits they wanted to lock the profits because they wanted to avoid the pain of losing money and that is also the main reason that most amateurs are very quick in closing the profitable trades then compared to a losing trades and when you are on a losing streaks when you are losing back to back people tend to risk more because they are already going through a series of pain so losing money is causes pain and when you are on a losing streak it causes more pain so in order to get rid of this pain they wanted to risk more because they tend to assume that okay if i risk more probably whatever the money that i have lost so far i can recover in just one trade so they tend to risk more so to get rid of this complete pain which they are currently going through and because of that they after they risk more they realize okay they have risked too much and which is going to eventually blow up their overall capital so all these pain factors causes you to take irrational decisions so that is when the emotions will come in so these pain factors will come when you are not trading with the right position sizing i've seen many traders say that okay my profit is hit my target is hit probably i'll done for the day i'll not going to place any more trades so they'll wind up their overall trading much much earlier before the market closes because they tend to think okay i've made enough money probably if i trade more i might lose this profits which i have earned in the morning so in order to avoid the pain of losing money they completely stop trading for the day 
But even though they say they stop trading for the day, they continue to watch the markets, they continue to see what is happening around the markets, what other traders are doing. So all this activity they continue to do. But they don't trade because they are very, very fearful that whatever the money that they have earned, they might lose it if they continue to trade for the rest of the day. So because of these prime reasons, because of all these emotional factors, because of all these pain factors, which is really, really important, which are because of all these pain factors, you are taking irrational decisions when it comes to trading. And if you think closely why all this pain factor comes in, it is mainly because of the wrong position sizing that we are doing with. So the moment we realize, okay, this is the right position size, this is the ideal number of lots that I need to trade, these pain factors will slowly move away from you. And then eventually you would be able to make the right trading decisions. So as I said earlier, trading is all about having this right mindset. And in order to get these right mindset and in order to control your overall emotions, you would keep giving too much importance to position size only then you would be able to handle these kind of emotional factors you would be able to control the emotions still you would not be able to totally avoid the emotions but you can control the emotions to a greater extent so this is what i want to convey in this video thank you so much for your time so if you guys have any questions please post it in the comment section i'll address it thank you